Okay, so to make this um, upcycled sweater purse, repurpose, whatever you want to call it, you're going to need a sweater. And I also find, found these hard to come by. Some clothes are just really hard to find at flea markets and thrift stores around here anymore. But um, I'd already been cutting on this when I made Daisy a couple of arm warmers with it. But all I need is basically the body of the sweater anyway. So <coughs> I've got this sweater. And this sweater is a size large. I've got a piece of fabric large enough here to cut a strap. Um, two strap pieces and a body piece for the purse. So the first thing that I want to do, I also have a ruler, um, my pin cushion, and some scissors. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the straps and I want at least 30 inch straps. So I'm going to fold this fabric over a little bit just to use this part for the cutting the straps. I want to make sure I've got it lined up. Um, fold on fold. This is the fold down here at my end, closest to me. Okay, so I'm lining up the fold and just folding it over this way so that I can make two strap pieces. I'm not going to um, put any interfacing or anything in the straps. So I, want, I wanted this to be quick things you can do to um, upcycle or repurpose things. And you probably won't be able to see this on camera, but what I'm doing is I'm going to right on this fold that I folded over here, because I'll just, I'll just clip that when I'm done, I'm going um, to cut three inches, so I'm marking three inches here, and I'm going to go just up a ways with it so I've got a good mark that I can make a line with. And then, since this is on the fold, I'm going to measure up to um, 15 inches. And I'm using those lines that I just made as a guide. And I'm going to mark this and then mark across here. And this will be one strap. I'm not making two straps, but I'm making two pieces. And then what I want to do is just pin a little bit so that everything stays in place while I'm cutting these pieces out. fold here so I've got two strap pieces. So I'm just sticking my scissors in. It's hard for me to work at this angle, y'all. I'm trying to show you that. Um, and just cut as neat as I can going down that fold. piece there you can see I've got two strap pieces so we're going to put these aside all right the next thing I want to do is make the lining of the purse and it'll give me an easier guide to cut the um, the um, sweater piece I'm on a raggedy table here y'all I'm sorry we need two pieces for the lining. I'm going to turn it wrong side out because I just I want to work with the wrong side. Um, that way it, everything's lined up really good. So. And I'm trying to do this without a pattern, like I said. So I'm not really doing a lot of measuring with this. It depends on the size sweater you got and what how you can work with the material of the sweater. So I've got this 
on the fold. The fold is over here, and then I'm going to fold it over again so that I can make my, my drawings on the fabric, and I've got a nice, neat um, cut once I've cut everything. So working from this fold over here so that I'll have two pieces, what I'm going to do is decide I think that my purse is going to be about 14 inches. So I'm marking it at 7. Marking from the fold and going 7 inches. And then I want it to be about 13 inches deep. So I'm going to mark that from 13 inches down, and I'm leaving a little bit because this, this is uneven here. And then I'm going to go across here and mark for the top of the purse. And I want it to be rounded. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to create my curve. And I'm just drawing that curve there. Now what I'm going to do is pin it so that everything is in place and not moving around while I'm doing this cutting. And now when we take our pins out, and we open this up, we have two pieces for the purse body. Now what I'm going to do is take one piece of this and use it as a pattern piece to cut out the two pieces for the sweater. What I want to do is line up the shoulders and everything on the sweater and make sure that I've got it um, laying as flat as I can possibly get it. And when you've got buttons like this, you need to plan for that. So, I'm going to try to line up my top, and this is really thick right here. I, I may have to cut something out if my machine doesn't want to go over it. But I want the top of my purse to start right underneath this top button because I want to get rid of that. and I want to have enough seam allowance to um, sew the back to the front. So, hopefully this works out to where, yes, we have a nice... Everything's lined up really nicely, so just make sure everything's laid flat. And also at the bottom that you don't have a button too close to the edge so that you can sew it. Once you got it laid out and it looks pretty even to you and you're happy with it, you want to pin this lining to the sweater. Now we have we have two pieces for our purse body, and that's a little off, but it's okay. Probably what I'm going to do since this is like it's double layered is I want to go ahead. Um, see what I'm doing where this is is layered like this I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little square of this inside piece where the buttonholes are I'm gonna cut it off because I know it's it's so thick and I'm liable to break a needle or just you know but just enough for your seam allowance so that it it the needle will pass smoothly probably on that um, Viking that I have it will would go over pretty neat anyway so but you know if you have one of those little cheap bone machines and it's it's probably not equipped for stuff like that you're gonna need to snip these and so I'm snipping at the top and the bottom just on the inside if you have that that layer inside the sweater like I do then you want to do this step I'm, I think I'm even going to cut that seam off 
and that's once you stitch and everything up that's not gonna show if you snip it too far down it may look odd but so that gives us a nice thin layer to sew over now we're gonna go in the living room with my sewing machine and I'm gonna show you how to put all this stuff together so that's two pieces of the sweater two pieces of the lining and two pieces for the the one strap that we're making. So um, this is not a big fancy deal. So I'm only doing the purse body and, and how to put it together. I'm not adding pockets or anything. But ideally, you probably want to do that. You add like an inside zipper. I have videos on that, and I'll put a link in this video so that you could do an inside zipper, or inside pocket, or you know whatever you want to do. 